There we go. This one. This one. <laughs> that guy slammed it, dude. Con. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our video. So today is August 19th, I think, 2020. Um, you guys can see in the car right now, just driving to the beach. Um, got rods right here. Got some bloodworms up there. And as you guys can probably already assume, we're even some little surf fishing, king fish, and spot fish, and whatever we can catch off the beach. Got some sabiki rigs tied up. Gonna toss those out. Got about three hours to fish before work, so not too bad at all. It's 6:15 now. I'll probably start fishing around 6:30, 6:45, and uh, yeah, hopefully catch catch some spot. They've been around heavy, and just to see if they're there, it'll be good. Then maybe I'll go get some more for bait. But right now, it's just gonna be. I'll keep the bigger ones for dinner and I'll let everything else go. So we'll see what we can do. I'm um, just gonna drive to the beach now, pick up some ice for the cooler, and then I'll see you guys on the beach. So see what happens. Hopefully it's a good video. Hopefully catch some fish as always, and see what we can do. Alright guys, so beta choice today is going to be bloodworms we got right here. Um, bought these a few days ago, but as long as you flip them, they should hold up pretty good. Yeah, see, they're still kicking right here, so. Got a dozen of these guys. Don't want to see my money go to waste, so. I have to come out here to get a video going. Just going to cut up six small pieces for the sabiki rig. Six. Alright, so we got half a worm right there. And here's our sabiki rig right here, of course, on the Akuma. A Pixar with the 7.6 star rod. Stellar light. And medium action I believe and yeah my go-to rod for pretty much everything and here's our six hook sabiki right here don't know what brand this is I pick up a bunch of these uh, every year for white perch and just have a bunch left so this is probably my favorite rig to use off the beach just because you got so many smaller hooks you have a lot of chances for the fish to hit in pretty much the entire water column it's not that deep out there this covers almost everything and I'm just putting, threading some small bloodworms on here. These guys are maybe half an inch, half an inch long. Just gonna tip every hook with one of these. All right, and there goes the last one right there. All six hooks are baited up, just a small piece of worm. That's all these fish need. Um, plenty of scent in the water from all of them. It's just a great rig overall. And we're gonna make sure we toss the bloodworms back on the ice so they don't expire. That's the worst thing. That could happen. All right, here's the rig completely set up right here. Six hooks, two ounce pyramid on the bottom. Hopefully this holds. And we're just gonna cast it out. Um, while I set up the other rod, I'm gonna just sit it in the holder, but then I'm gonna be holding it from, from here on out, just because you can lose a lot of fish when you're not attentive. There we go. So we got it out there, like I said. We got a ton of bait out there, so hopefully we get some bites. I I always plan on losing bait for no reason. Those just sabiki rigs tend to do that. And there we go. So I'll cast it out. Just to nothing, I already got a bite. And we're just gonna sit in the rod holder. If we don't get any bites, we might have to put on a heavier weight to cast out. But we'll just leave this here for now. See if we can get any fish. So we'll see what we can do, hopefully catch some fish. Hopefully the day is productive. Looks great out here. Uh, tide's coming in, so we should have some more water coming up, and we'll see what we can do. Oh, we're getting bit already, man. Must be a little spot. There we go, we're on, guys, we're on. We're on, first fish of the day. <laughs> Got something small on here. Yeah, there we go. Tiny little spot, guys. Awesome. I think it's a new species for the channel. Let's go get a quick picture of them. That's cool. Nice. So that's this flounder candy right here. If I was going fishing later, didn't have to work, I would use them, but we'll just take them right now. Flounder, striper candy. 
great little bait fish. And there he is, guys. Gorgeous little spot. Awesome. See you, dude. Back out he goes. Let's rebait. This is what I was talking about, guys. Got six hooks on here, and we literally are missing bait on five of them. So this is the kind of morning it's going to be. When you come out here, make sure you're prepared. You have a dozen, two dozen blood worms. And uh, yeah, let's add some fish bites on here too. Probably two hooks for fish bites, and then we'll keep the rest as worms. All right, there we go. All baited back up. Let's cast out and hopefully catch some more. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> that guy slammed it, dude. These guys do hit pretty hard for their size. We got a big one, we'll keep them and eat them, but these little ones are just fun, burning up some blood worms. There we go, in our spot. There he is, see you, dude. Let's uh, cast this back out there, see if we can get any more before we rebate. Still have some hooks with bait left on them, so. Let's see if we can catch any. There we are, fish on. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. There are so many of them out there, it's crazy. Oh, he hit the top hook with the fish bite too, cool. It's good to know they're hitting the fish bites as well. There we go, third one of the day. I guess a great, great bait right there. And let's uh, cast back out, see if we can get one more. Before we switch baits. I think we're missing like every blood worm on there. So. If we get one with this, that'll be a shot. All right, so we're rebaiting again, guys. Um, GoPro just died right there. Uh, I've had some bites, but it took all of our bait, and I don't want to let it sit out there. Just two fish bites, so I'm gonna put another fish bite here on the bottom hook. Quickly turning from bloodworm bite to fish bite bite, just because fish bites don't have to replace the bait, and that's a massive, massive plus. And we're just hooking up some small little pieces of bloodworm, same, same as always. And there we go. So rigs all set. Let's see if we can get any kingfish out here. So kingfish croakers and spot are. Our three species that are out here right now but well, the quantity of each definitely is going to be different it might have a lot more spot and kingfish but yeah so we'll see what we can do i'm looking to catch some stuff for dinner but making a video having fun that's what it's all about um don't need to be greedy i'm not gonna die if i don't eat these so as long as i'm catching fish having fun that's what it's all about so I'm gonna keep fishing Burn through some blood worms, burn through some fish bites, burn through a good morning. And uh, yeah, let's catch a few more. Already getting bit. There he is. <laughs> Literally just instantaneous. Oh, he fell off, dang it. It's all right, still got all of our bait. Cast back out and should not be too long before we get in our fish. There he is. We got him. We're on. Fish on. Oh no. Please be on. There he is. Nice. There he is, guys. See ya out there there must be so many friggin spots it's ridiculous but yeah it's nice they showed up they never really have showed up in the past few years at least this heavy you got them sporadically but we haven't been catching them like this in a while there he is fish on that bigger spot not huge though on the fish bite on the top there he is Hey, dude. There he is. 
this one. Ooh, that's the biggest one of the day. Decent size too. Not a Mondo, but there he goes. <laughs> All right, see you, bub. Thanks for flying. Make one more cast, we'll add some more bait. Keep on flying. No kingfisher croaker, which is weird. Just spot so far. There he is. Every single cast, guys. Seriously, we've got one. It's ridiculous. There's so many of them out there. I don't even know what number it is. Maybe number seven. Oh, it's a bluefish too. <laughs> Look at that, guys. New species of the day. A little bluefish right there. That's weird. Cool, cool. Another good bait out there. Small little bluefish. There you go, guys. Today's surprise catch. Little tiny bluefish right there. Cool little snapper. And uh, yeah, let's send him back. Tiny little guy. There he is, guys. Tiny little bluefish. Cool surprise. Let's let him get up to 20 pounds. Awesome. All right, so let's re bait back up and make another cast. Definitely a welcome surprise right there, mixed in with all the spot. Uh, small little snapper blue, it's like the smallest one I've ever caught off the beach. <laughs> and there we go, fish on. Just looking for some kingfish or some croakers now, pretty much. Got bluefish, got spot. Let's see what else. What do we have here? Nothing? Oh, all right. This is, dude. I just want to see it at least. Whoa. Oh, is that a ray? It's gotta be a ray. Yeah, it's a ray. Oh, the fish for a second. Nope. Oh, and he snapped off. I think it's a little cow nose ray right there. Alright. At least he's gone. Cast back out and see what we can do. Fish on. Or not. Oh, there we go. Fish on. That guy slammed it, dude. And that is actually my first fish in like 30, 45 minutes. This was going to change GoPro batteries. Came back, picked up the rod. It was not too long before we got a bite. I don't know why the bite died down. We got a storm over there. Tide's on its way out now. Switch from incoming to outgoing. And uh, yeah, what we got here? Oh, we got two spots. Oh, we got a spot and a bluefish. <laughs> nice. And we are gonna eat these two guys for our achievement. That is a nice little picture right there. There we go, guys, right there. Is our second bluefish of the day, plus our big spot of the day. And that's gonna be dinner right here. Small guys, so we're gonna keep them because we caught plenty. And there's plenty out there, so. Take these guys on the hook, throw them in, and there we go. There's the bluefish, guys. Really tiny one. But it'll make a good size for bait. Uh, if you want to use them for sharks. Or just to eat. I mean, we got some small fillets on there. These ones are the best to eat anyway. Tiny little bluefish, toss them in the cooler. And there's a spot. Not a big one, but the biggest of the day. And we'll toss him, toss him in the cooler as well.
All right, well guys, so as you can see, I'm not in my truck. I'm not down the shore and it's probably not August. So it's September. I'm just about up with this video now. I realized I, didn't, I did not record an outro. I was in a rush after that spot fishing mission. Um, had to go to work, literally couldn't waste a second or I would have been late. So didn't have time to record a two minute intro, two minute outro, I mean. Yeah, but I mean, that was a great day. I went out there, I was looking for kingfish croakers and spot. Um, this day I had not caught a spot in about a year and I really hadn't caught more than one in uh, more than I can remember so it was nice to get on some spot we've had our fill of kingfish we did get two surprise snapper bluefish which were a welcome surprise in the surf I kept those two guys and I used them both for shark bait actually caught some sharks the next day didn't bring the GoPro of course so um, that won't be a video but anyways guys hope you guys enjoy this video I'm gonna stop rambling on thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one. See you then. Peace out.